everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 789 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I am so excited to be trying out another Shop Miss A $1 makeup product. It feels like it's been such a long time since I've tried out a $1 Shop Miss A makeup product. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love Shop Miss A and I love $1 makeup products. But I am a little nervous about this product here. This is the BR Moisturizing Foundation Stick. And what makes me a little nervous about this is that the reviews on the Shop Miss A website are not good. A lot of the reviews said that this smelled bad, like so bad that people couldn't even put it on their face. So that makes me nervous about this, but let's find out. So curious to smell this. Also, I have not tried out a BR brand product from Shop Miss A. And I have literally tried out hundreds of Shop Miss A products, but I haven't heard of this brand BR. So I, I think it's really fun to be able to try out a new brand. And it looked like this came in six shades. Hmm, this doesn't look too bad. I got this in the shade Natural Ivory. Maybe a little bit dark for my skin tone, but maybe we can make it work. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this does smell. It smells to me like wood. I honestly don't think it smells terrible. Like it doesn't smell so bad that I can't put it on my face. Yeah, for some reason it just smells like cut wood, logs. Okay, I'm a little less nervous now. <laughs> but so I'm gonna try using my regular method of applying a stick foundation, which is to use my makeup sponge. But if that doesn't work, I can use my fingers, I can use a brush. We're gonna see what works best. And this is a very small product. So I'm hoping a little bit will go a long way because you don't get much. Of course, this does only cost $1. This is also cruelty free. Love that about Shop Miss A products. But okay, let's go ahead and um, give it a whirl. Ooh, it actually does glide onto the skin very nicely. Ooh, do you see that? Like I'm lightly touching it to my face and it glides right on. So let's see if I can blend it out. Yeah seems to blend out very easily as well, but not a ton of coverage right now. So hopefully it'll layer up, but if you just want some light coverage, it looks really good actually, really good on the skin. Like it just kind of melts in. I just want to layer up a bit more over this redness. Let's see. Right. I think this does layer up, so I'm able to build up some coverage. And truly, this looks great on the skin. Like it looks skin-like. It really looks like it's just like melting in. It looks smooth. The color is decent. All right, I am excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and do half of my face applied with this makeup sponge. And then I'm curious if this would apply better with a brush. But it does blend out very easily with the sponge. It's sitting nice and smooth on my large pores. I would say it's a light to medium coverage if you just do one layer, but it looks really, really good on the skin. Like, look, there's a little bit of glow and radiance. Wow, okay. With it, without it, I am impressed. Like my expectations were obviously pretty low before trying this and I am really, 
actually very impressed by this. Like, I like it. So, let's try using my Complex Culture foundation brush that I love. I think it blends out easier with the makeup sponge. Yeah, I prefer the makeup sponge because this doesn't give as much coverage and it's faster with the makeup sponge. But also maybe I'll try blending it out with my fingers. So let's see how that works. So I feel like if I'm blending it out with my finger, I can get more coverage. Ooh, I really like this technique. It blends out very easily. It's a very creamy formula. So blending it out with my finger is great. Works perfectly. Yeah, I like that. So. I would say either blending it out with my finger or with the makeup sponge is the best technique. So we'll just finish off. I really am happy with how it looks on my pores. And I'm trying this out. I just moisturized my skin. I didn't put on any like skin enhancing primer because I wanted to see how this applies on its own. And it really does look so good on the skin. Like we got glow, smooth texture, doesn't emphasize my pores. Like if you want a very natural looking skin like foundation, which I do want that, this gives you that. Like it looks like this is just my natural skin and I love it. The coverage is enough that it still looks like it could be my natural skin because I can still see like some freckles, blemishes, a little bit of redness. Like it looks like I don't have any makeup on and I love the effect of that. Like there is no texture on the skin. It's nice and hydrating. Honestly, if I were to rate this, I would give it five stars on the Shop Mizay website. And the smell, I feel like it's very faint. Like, I'm not concerned about the smell at all. Even having it all over my face, I don't smell anything. So, I was nervous for nothing. I actually really like this. I will definitely use this because I love how it looks on my skin. Like, I actually want to repurchase this and stock up on it. That's how happy I am with the look of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer a little bit more coverage over the redness on my cheeks and the pores on my nose and let's see if we can get that covered up yeah it's buildable coverage which i love that looks really good i have good coverage now over the redness Like this seriously has such a dewy finish that looks so healthy on the skin. Like I love it. I feel like this is a hidden gem on the Shop Miss A website. So I will definitely link to this in the description down below because I really think you should try this out. I love when I am pleasantly surprised by a makeup product and I also love when I find an amazing $1 makeup product. Like, it's really hard to find a stick foundation in general that's really good, but to find one that's $1 that looks, I think, perfect on my face. And I am very picky about foundations. If there is any texture, any cakiness, like a heavy caked on makeup look, then I'm not gonna like it. This has the perfect skin-like texture, feels really nice on my skin. So this just has everything I want in a foundation, but 
for a dollar. It said on the Shop Miss A website, perfect for travel, and that is so true. And I felt like I applied a lot, but it didn't use up that much of the product, so I will be able to get a lot of uses out of this. But when it's this good, I want to stock up, and it is so easy to travel with. Like, you just bring this tiny little foundation rather than like this big, like squeezy tube or a big foundation palette. It really is so easy, so travel friendly. It's not going to spill out. I feel like I can't say enough good things about this foundation. I need to make sure that this gets higher ratings on the Shot Mise website because people need to try this out. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please stay safe, stay healthy out there. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.